Good morning, everyone. Um, thank you very much for joining us this morning. And um, again, I'm Linda Kozlowski, and I run global marketing and customer service for Alibaba.com. I'm based out of Hong Kong, but of course, come to London as often as possible, as this is UK is one of our key markets for Alibaba.com. So I like to spend as much time here as I possibly can. So um, let me give you a little bit of information about, um, about Alibaba.com and tell you a little bit about the company, as well as some of the trends that we're seeing that you can take advantage of as a business. So first of all, we want to talk a little bit about why you are so important. Um, there's a lot of focus in the world on big business. There's a lot of discussion about big business. There's a lot of discussion about job growth in big business. But the obvious fact that all of you know and um, most of the governments of the world know is that most of our economic growth, most of our e economic stability, most of our economic strength um, is really about small and medium businesses. They're the ones that drive the economy and they're the ones that create sustainable economic situations. Um, if you look at just what happened in 2008, it's pretty obvious to see that when large companies fail, they fail hard. Um, but when, you're, when your risk and when your economic stability is spread across a lot of small and medium businesses, you have a much better chance of creating stable growth, not only for the globe, but also for your local economies as well. So it's really, really important that we give as much access and as much um, opportunity to small and me medium businesses as possible. So quickly, for those of you who are not familiar, let me tell you a little bit about what Alibaba.com is. Uh, Alibaba.com is the world's largest B2B trading site. So essentially, if you're a small and medium business, um, this is where you would come to get access to either global suppliers if you want to source products, or um, if you're looking to sell your products internationally and don't necessarily have the budget to have staff in every single market around the world, then Alibaba.com would be the place that you'd want to come. So let's talk a little bit about the benefits for each side. Um, first of all, let's start with the supplier side. Um, how many of you have built your own website? Okay. Have you built e-commerce functionality into that website? How much did it cost you approximately to build and, and manage that website for a year? Any estimates? Thousand pounds? Anything else? So once you build that website, say you spend a thousand pounds to build and manage that website for a year, who's going to come to that website? Then you actually need to market that website to people globally. Um, or even locally. And that can get quite expensive. That can require a lot of staff, that can require a lot of expertise, and particularly if you want to reach 240 countries, which is where, what Alibaba reaches for you, um, that can get into quite a cost for you uh, going forward. So if for around 1,900 pounds a year, you could actually put your products on Alibaba.com and have access to 22 million buyers globally, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with no transaction costs or charges. So if you're a supplier, then what we can do is we can help you as a small and medium business expand your reach and find new customers globally for a very low annual fee uh, that's a predictable cost. And it allows you to reach those markets without necessarily having to have separate marketing campaigns in each one of those areas. We bring the people to you that are already pre-qualified and interested in buying your products. If you're a buyer, then um, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different situation because we don't actually charge you at all. If you're a buyer on Alibaba.com, Alibaba you can come to the site, you can look for suppliers all over the world, you can find raw materials to manufacture your products if you want to import and then manufacture using the raw materials. You can find finished products or you can invent something new. If you have an idea for a product and you want to create a prototype, you can go on our site and you can find people that actually help you create that prototype and then can manufacture it for you down the road. So we work with a lot of different companies across the board, but one of the advantages that we give is, again, we focus on small and medium businesses. So the large companies of the world don't necessarily need help from someone like Alibaba.com because they have buyers all over the world or they have marketing teams all over the world. And so the, the Boots and the Tescos and everyone else in the world can find those products pretty easily and source from those manufacturers pretty easily. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to level the playing field for the small and medium businesses and help them get access to global markets either for sourcing materials or for selling their finished products. So to tell you a little bit of the background of the Alibaba story, and I know that we've already covered it a little bit, we were founded in 1999, so we're around 12 years old. Uh, we were founded by 18 people led by Jack Ma, who was an English teacher. 
And um, Jack essentially encountered the internet on a trip to the US and realized that this was an incredible tool that could actually help small and medium businesses succeed. Now, globally, among all the Alibaba companies were more than 23,000 employees, with 17,000 of those being part of Alibaba.com, which is the original company and the one that we're talking about today. We have 70 offices around the world, and, um, and we've had presence globally since day one. We were always founded as an international trade site, and that's our goal, is to help people trade globally. So what do we bring you as a customer? As I mentioned, we have around 22 million registered users, both buyers and sellers, um, some of which do both. Again, they might actually source raw materials, manufacture, and then re-export using our site. But that, again, gives you access to people that you wouldn't normally be able to reach in all the countries around the world. We have 46 industry categories and 5,900 product categories with around 1.9 million storefronts. So you can literally find anything that you need on Alibaba.com. So let's talk a little bit about, um, about what, we, what we've seen as far as trends on the site related to the UK and how you can take advantage of these trends. So as I mentioned, we have both buyers and suppliers on the site. Let's talk about the buyer side first. What exactly and, and where are buyers in the UK sourcing from? Pretty much all over. Um, a lot from Asia, a lot from Europe, a lot from the United States, and, um, and they're bringing these products into uh, into the UK to manufacture. These are the types of products that they're buying, machinery, apparel, automobiles and motorcycles, beauty and personal care, and construction and real estate. But here's where it starts to get interesting. Let's start looking at the exports from the UK. Now, the ONS just announced that exports from the UK reached an all-time high, which is great news. There is some bad news, however. When you look at exports, only 15% of businesses in the UK are comfortable selling to Asia and to the Middle East. 58% of them actually want to sell to Europe. Well, we've all been watching what's happening in Europe right now, so we need to think about um, whether that's the right market for UK businesses at this point. But here's the good news. 20% of the sales on our site are actually within the UK. So even though domestic trade is low, there's actually an opportunity that you can still trade domestically using Alibaba.com. Even though we are an international trade site, UK to UK sourcing is still actually one of, the, one of the strongest things on our site. But here's the even better news. If people can get over that fear, if that 15% can expand to a much larger amount, you actually don't need to worry about the Eurozone. When you look at the top areas for trade on our website, only two of the countries are actually in the Eurozone. Most of the trade, most of the buying requests that come into the UK on Alibaba.com come from India, Pakistan, Australia, United States, China, Turkey. They're coming from places outside of the Eurozone. Germany and Spain are the only two countries within the Eurozone besides the UK that are part of um, the countries that are really requesting goods from the UK. So there's a huge opportunity here. If we can just get over that 15% fear, there is demand for UK products in Asia, in the Middle East, and in other parts of the world that have a lot more economic stability and therefore the opportunity to grow.